el mundo de la política estadounidense se sacudió el sábado pasado cuando el candidato presidencial Donald Trump sufrió un intento de asesinato en Pensilvania. Lo sorprendente no fue solo el atentado, sino que este había sido predicho con una precisión asombrosa por el pastor evangélico Brandon Biggs. El 14 de marzo de 2024, en un video del canal Steve Siocolanti and Discover Ministries, Brandon Biggs realizó una impactante profecía. El sábado pasado, esa profecía se hizo realidad. Durante un mitin en Pensilvania, Trump fue atacado por Thomas Matthew Crooks, un joven de 20 años. Pero las predicciones de Biggs no se detuvieron en el atentado. También hizo vaticinios sobre el futuro político y económico de Estados Unidos. Biggs también predijo una gran crisis económica tras la reelección de Trump, comparándola con la Gran Depresión. Vio a Trump orando y llorando durante este periodo, afectado emocionalmente por los eventos. Este atentado se une a una lista de trágicos ataques contra políticos estadounidenses a lo largo de la historia. El futuro de Donald Trump y de Estados Unidos parece incierto, pero las profecías del pastor Biggs han dejado a muchos reflexionando sobre la conexión entre lo espiritual y lo político. Bringing back America, because the Lord told me, He said, I am not done with America. Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw, the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum and I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord he got radically born again during this time frame I'm talking w people say he's saved now but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming And um, then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great, uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer, great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff, but there would be a stop to it and their things would start to, to, to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election Uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting, and then uh, and then and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy that. plan, a crash, yeah. worse than the uh, the uh, Great Depression. And the Lord warned me about this. It would be a great dark time, but I saw paddles coming upon America's soil like a shocking of the soil, and I saw Donald Trump praying in the office of the of the Oval Office, and he was weeping before the Lord with his hands on his head like this, but he was weeping. And there was ministers and people. I don't know if they were senators or, or Congress people or whatever. They, I just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um, the White House. Uh, and sorry, the the uh, what is the White House? But it's the Oval Office, yeah. and they were interceding all inside there. And I could feel the presence of the Lord so strong on this. And then I could see that darkness that was the heaviness upon America with the with the um, the. Uh, The financial crisis of what I saw coming, it started to lift above the trees and I saw the blue and the, and the things coming back out and the green times and the good times coming back again. But the Lord said it would be forth a, a time of a season of um, a shaking and it would be a shakening to awaken. And, and in this, there, it, this would uh, uh, basically that he was not done with America. There would be a great revival come and there's it's. It's not all doom and gloom, as we said. The sky's not falling. It's just a time of, uh, it's like people would say, this is judgment. And the Lord said, do not call this judgment. It's not my judgment. It's a correction. There's a correction coming. Mm -hmm.